go to ritual art or tribal art, and we'll take a look at a couple. With the ritual art, uh, it's a little bit different than our art in the museum. Ritual art, the key thing is the ritual. And the ritual activates some kind of power. So the art really serves the ritual. And then for context, you know, the specific context is usually how is it used in the ritual, again the ritual, and the bigger context would be some cultural belief. Sometimes there's an expert, not always, but sometimes there's a shaman or a person with some specific knowledge. And then the art form goes back to, you know, traditional form, material, things like that. All right, so let's take a look at um, the transformation mask. And it is an animal and a human, and it opens. And it's up here in the northwest, beautiful area up there. And it's the uh, northwest uh, tribes. And they had a, a ceremony called the potlatch where they would do this. They're really into animals, just like we are sometimes with our zodiac signs. And this culture has a strong connection with the animal world. And in fact, their uh, clan would be a certain animal. So when they do this ritual here, uh, the, the animal would be, there'd be a connection between the people and their animal. So at the ritual, they would do this and it would connect them with their ancestors, connect them with their animal. And so the context here would be the dance, the ritual, the opening and the closing of the max of the mask, and the culture of belief is that these people are very connected to nature, and in fact, their family clan would have a crest or or, or would be connected to a whale or a thunderbird, and you could see their connection to their family here. The expert here would probably just be the person doing the dance, and then the art form would be uh, it's wood, it's painted. It's stylized, and that would be transformation mask. And um, that just is from the packet there. And so this, this bird might be a dead ancestor. It's not just a bird. So you might become an animal, or an animal might become you. And then we, we, we do it a little. We have Spider-Man and Game of Thrones as animals. All right, and they're the same totem pole people up here. And then that's Seattle Seahawks football team. Football is a little bit like a tribe. Those are warriors. Okay, now I'm going to go to um, Africa. I'm going to take a look at uh, Congo Power Figure. This guy here is Congo Power Figure. Really, really fascinating guy. And so uh, I'm going to see where did Congo. Okay, so Congo Power Figure is, I've got him somewhere. Pardon me, I'm trying to find him. Where did he go? Did I pass him? I think I'll back it up here. All right, Congo Power Figure. There he is. That's not the slide I'm looking for. Got okay, so Congo power figures this guy here, and the ritual is you read about it. Um, if somebody does you wrong, somebody does harm to you, you take like a piece of their hair or something, you put it in a nail, and an expert shaman will um, put the hair and a nail into this guy here, and this is the Congo power figure. When you put that nail in there, you activate his power, and his power is he connects with the gods, and he will bring justice to those that do wrong. So the contextual belief is that shamans, there's an interconnection between this world and the higher world. He stands on blocks because he's closer to the higher world. And um, this, then the person that did you wrong will be punished. You also read about they'll put stuff in his abdomen. And he, he kind of is uh, uh, tripping out here with his eyes or whatnot because he's, he's uh, a special kind of guy lost him. There we go. So, uh, and then as far as the form, again, he's a wood statue. He's on blocks because he's close. His mouth is open. His abdomen is open. He, he's open to the spirit world. But again, the, the big thing here is about the ritual. So that's just a little intro to ritual art. When you write about ritual art, it's really much more about the art than the form. And the key thing is context, is how is it used in a ritual. He's cool enough in a museum, but that's not what it's about. The, the art needs to be connected to how it was actually used by its culture. So that's an intro to Transformation Mask, a Congo power figure.